Arizona's pandemic, now the worst it has ever been, with cases and deaths mounting daily. In fact, Arizona is the number one hotspot in the country. But the governor now going against the recommendations from his own health department, saying every school needs to be open. As ABC 15's Adam Waltz explains, at least one group of parents is willing to go to court to put their kids in the classroom safest place for children to be is in school. I'm following public health. Governor Doug Ducey during an interview with our partners at KTAR News Thursday calling on parents who want in-person learning to take action. P don't. Parents need to put pressure on, on, on the district. Despite the governor's push for in-person learning, his public health department still recommends virtual learning for every county, including Coconino County, where Flagstaff Education Association president says this comment isn't helping anyone. Ducey's encouraging with this comment the war that's already been escalating between parents and schools, parents and educators, uh, it's a war we don't need. But parents are already on the move in Flagstaff. A group of 500 Flagstaff parents sending this letter to administrators at Flagstaff Unified School District pleading for a safe return to the classroom. We'll at least follow the county and state guidelines to open in a hybrid capacity and then we can move forward from there. A lawyer with Alfred Law arguing on behalf of the parents says students at Flagstaff Unified have an unfair learning disadvantage by remaining virtual, while other districts in the state are learning in the classroom. The group also sending parent testimonials detailing the struggles their children are having with online learning. Finding their kids in the fetal position in the closet. Um, um, one of my friend's son was pulling his hair out in spots during his Zoom classes, um, and that was September. Because we're a local control state, each district makes their own decision about staying in person versus going remote. Flagstaff Unified remaining virtual to start the year. I pulled my kids from public schools in October when I saw them, you know, emotionally breaking down. Um, a lot of parents don't have that option, especially on the high school. There's not other options. Flagstaff Unified responding to ABC saying the district has adopted the benchmarks to return to school. But unfortunately, COVID numbers continue to rise past those thresholds. It's a really tough position for parents to be in. And it always was because the state and the feds aren't providing, you know, the, the daycare or any other, you know, no, no monetary help of significance, nothing to let. Um, this really work for parents in a meaningful way. In Phoenix, Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona.